Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can select a single contact when viewing the contacts folder by giving a single click to the contacts entry. That will select the contact in the view. You will notice that the entry has become highlighted to indicate that it is selected. You may also want to select multiple contacts. If the contacts that you want to select are not next to each other, then simply click on the first one that you want to select, hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click on any other contacts that you want to select. Finally, release the control key when you are finished. If the contacts that you want to select are located next to each other, then simply click on the first contact in the group, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click on the last contact in the group. All contacts including and between the first and the last contacts that you clicked will then be selected. Finally, release the shift key on your keyboard. You can edit the information for an existing contact by opening the contact window again by selecting the desired contact within the contacts folder and then clicking the Outlook Contacts hyperlink for the contact that appears under the View Source label within the Reading pane at the right side of the Contacts folder. Alternatively, in the other views available, you can double-click the entry of the contact whose information you want to edit within the Contacts folder to also open the Contact window. Once you have finished changing the information within the Contact window, click the Save and Close button to save your changes. You can also make changes or add basic information to a selected contact directly in the reading pane that appears at the right side of the People view of the Contacts folder. To do this, select the contact within the folder and then click the Edit command that appears in the reading pane at the right side of the view. You can then edit any information shown or click the small plus signs next to the information type shown to add a new field into which you can record this new information. When finished, click the Save button in the lower right corner of the pane to save the changes. When you want to delete a contact that you have entered, select the contact that you wish to remove from the Contacts folder. Then press the Delete key on your keyboard or click the Delete button in the Delete button group on the Home tab in the ribbon. The selected contact or contacts will immediately be deleted. To reverse this action if needed, Click the Undo button in the Quick Access Toolbar to undo the deletion immediately after deleting the contact. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.